Missing an opportunity. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Let me get a pen. Slimer went that way. Follow him. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Whoops, you let one out? That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. He went into the sub-basement, and his escapee friend went with him. Hmm. Come on, kid. We've got a job for you. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. I'm not sure about the other guy, though. Okay. Let's go get him. Oh, and uh, don't sweat the containment unit. It's easy to get excited your first time out with the proton stream. Egon will fix it in no time. Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you want to bent the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost in TKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. Pack's moving into the red, Cadet Bennett! Slimer. There it is! Ugh! And I thought Slimer was disgusting. All right, you've got it good and winded. Next stage, cap him. You can project a capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto-select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that tub of goo. Fantastic! You got it! As soon as your ghost is in your capture screen, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or counter-wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do that. Watch the ghost. When he makes a dash in one direction, you pull the screen quickly in the other. Give it a shot! That's it! Let's go! How do you like that, you two-tone pork belly? Make sure your pack slam meter is charged. Let him have it! Slamo! You play rough, kid. I love it. Now we can move to stage three. Trap it. You're gonna need some place to put that. There you go! Perfect! See the beacon signal coming from the trap cross down different ghosts with different rates. But they all flush the same in the end. And there! Oh, yes! One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your trap. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Stings like the Dickens, too. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? 
It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you.